the next question I have uh, uh, received from Pakistan and they have a major issue about this uh, particular problem in, in Pakistan, India and sure like many countries but uh, seems like more in India, Pakistan and uh, uh, Muslim. Three talaq is considered as one sitting three or the one. So um, this has been still a major issue in our in our society. As a general ruling, as a general ruling, if somebody uttered a uh, three talaq, uh, three divorced his wife while in anger, in at one time. For example, uh, if a Muslim. Uh, tells his wife, uh, I give a divorce, divorce, divorce. As a general ruling, that is considered as a one, not as a three. So even if he uttered uh, three divorces in one sitting, that's just a general ruling. But in order for us to uh, issue the proper ruling, uh, I do have to get into more deeply into that uh, situation and I have to understand how does that divorce happen, uh, was it an extreme anger, was it like a medium anger or light anger and uh, was the wife in her uh, periods, uh, what was the situation going on, if, even if it is a three divorce it could be none. It could be none because he might have uttered, he just blowed up a uh, big mouth and he spilled all his anger without realizing what is he doing and all, with what is he doing. So still none of them has considered, not even one because uh, because he does not realize uh, he's uttering the word that could, uh, they could have to destroy uh, his family. So that particular talaq is not, that particular divorce is not even a one because he he does not realize what he's doing. But even as a general ruling, uh, if he uttered a three uh, divorces in, in one sitting by anger, like for an example, somebody say, hey, okay, please, I'm sorry, I don't get along with you, so we need to separate the relation. We need to end up this relation. I issue you three divorce, and I issue you a divorce, divorce, divorce. Or he could say, I would issue you uh, three divorce. So that that type of divorce will be considered as a, just the one it will want to consider as, as a three so we have to understand something having a family life having a husband and wife relation is like a great blessing for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so Allah does not Allah didn't make this relation to just split it all the anger at one time and uh, you just break it up in in one shot so in countries like uh, Pakistan India and Bangladesh and probably there's many countries they have this major issue Many uh, sisters and the children lives have been destroyed because of a particular issue. Even it's a, it's a three divorce, even it's a one divorce, Allah has given a chance to, he might uh, cool down in the morning and uh, he will take his wife back. But in the anger, if, what if it just shoot like three divorces in one sitting? So what if they destroy the house? First of all, this does not happen. So this make very illogical that uh, the relation is so being delicate, he can just finish it right away. You just get out of my life. It does not end up like that. Because if you read in the Quran where it says, At-Talaq Maratan, Talaq is like two times. That means when you give the Talaq, so basically in the Quran is talking about if you have a period of a time, Talaq Maratan, there's a two times, two times Talaq. So when you say Talaq like nicely, in a not like extreme anger where the really talaq has been occurred like she is not on her periods and she is not pregnant and uh, they are in a in a medium type of an anger uh, this type of talaq has of the divorce is being occurred and this is uh, he has to uh, utter the word or he has to text message or whatever if she read it and if she listened to that that has been uh, affected as a one talaq but if he shoots as a three talaq, we do have to understand even if one has happened, even one has affected or not. Because he might have shoot it ten times talaq. I give you divorce, 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 so just, just get out of my life, I'm, I'm tired of you. I'm, next morning, his anger is gone. So now what if we follow those type of scholars who say the three has been affected, now the relation is being ended, 
the life is being destroyed because what if they have a family? What if they have uh, children? What if there is the only sustainer who is Allah and the, and the husband who is being sustaining the family? What if he's gone? Who's going to be taking care of the, the family? So those type of scholars have been like destroying and many many times I would recommend not to follow this type of scholars and just stick to the Prophet ﷺ and just stick to the Quran. The Quran says Talaq Maratan. Talaq is two times, the Arabs is uh, two times and if you say for the third time then the relation is being filled. And now another topic, if the person has uttered talaq one time, if he shooted a three talaq in one sitting, first of all we have to know that has really affected or not. Even if it's a one or it could be nothing. We don't know that until I have to ask a lot of questions uh, to my client if he, if the, the the divorce has really affected or not and what was the situation what was the wife doing and what was going on and it, if it was as a general ruling it has affected a one one divorce so now come after the period of time after let's say they are not getting along after two months they are not getting along and the husband decided to give her a uh, second divorce that divorce if he issued that divorce in a, in a normal uh, situation in a not an extreme angle that would affect like a second divorce now in the second time if he uh, they get into the fight again uh, before before he takes her back during that time if he takes her back then the divorce has been cancelled but one has already been done not the second time if he has taken back and they got into the fight again and he uttered the the three words again i divorce you i divorce you i divorce you just get out of my life i'm totally tired of you i give you one chance i'm tired of you i'm giving you divorce 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 ten times in that second time we still have to understand that that second divorce has been affected or not it comes to the same uh, point that we have to ask a lot of questions what was the situation and what was everything and if the second that was really happened or not was it a, a normal anger was it an extreme anger but it, because maybe the first uh, divorce has been affected the second divorce has not been affected so we would just like simply say okay this has happened the second divorce has happened and you give it before 10 times now you give it another three times your relation is finished so think about it the relation will be destroyed the family life will be destroyed and everything will be destroyed so the second time we also have to come uh, questioning to our client how does the divorce was really happened was it in extreme anger what was going on and what was the wife in a period and not her periods what is really happened was it not really happened but uh, but what happens like the, the person that does not have a proper knowledge they would go to their scholars like for example if you go to the, the Hanafi scholars they would all say your first time divorce was been finished now this is like totally ignorance because first of all this type of we have to all the Muslim is obligated to get the knowledge these types of uh, scholars from like a Hanfi mother I, I don't know about the other people also because but I know in the Hanfi mother uh, they consider the three as should be three and that's it you your life is blown out now you have to get a halala and all these things and uh, that's a different talk but I will be uh, will be talking about that later uh, first everything we have to understand everything uh, when, when somebody comes to us like I have divorced my wife I had to know exactly what was going on before issuing the ruling like for example if he asked me one question i would ask him like 10 questions okay so was she in a period uh, was she not in a period what was going on what were you thinking about and what you're talking about and uh, how was your anger and uh, what you plan of you have your life then we come to the conclusion you your divorce has been affected or not even it's a one or it's a three but if you issued the three what do we have to know if it was an extreme anger what kind of anger was there is it blown out now let me talk about something else majority more than uh, uh, 90 or the 95 people when they divorce their wife three times they shouted because some of them have a short anger they would just explode like a bomb and the next morning everything is calmed down when they wake up next morning they find the scholars they want the fatwa on that like I have a, 
uh, that was my wife last night and we got into the fight and it really definitely the that was happened to like when, when it's a fight going on it's not something like we, you eating a, a biryani or when you're having a barbecue party and you just say okay I'll love this and I'm and I'm just gonna give the divorce for that basically it happens in anger and the most root cause of that is our sister has a very sharp way of abusive language using with the husband and the husband gets more angry and he sh and he spilled it all